Hello, my name is Flossie. This is the Grape Jelly Library where we love to talk about those books. I am so glad you could join me. I always look forward to your visit. Today, we are going to talk about Westerns. <music> Before we get into today's agenda, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you like a variety of different styles of books. Variety is the spice of life, remember, and keep your life spicy. Read those books that are outside of your comfort zone. Today, we are talking Westerns. Westerns are a type of book that I wouldn't generally pick up myself, but I have been known to read a few in my day. The month of June is June on the Range. This is the mastermind of Michael K. Vaughn. He came up with this idea and I am here for it. I knew I wouldn't be able to participate throughout the entire month. If you can, that is great. If you can't, do what you can. Um, I saw myself entering into this mid-June. I have decided that I was going to go with, I'll tell you in a little bit. Let's talk about Westerns. When we think about Westerns and cowboys, what do we conjure up in our mind? We conjure up the frontier, flatlands, mountains, cactuses, horses, cowboy hats, saloons, you know, just a whole bunch of fun stuff. We think of Montana, Colorado, Texas, Kentucky, um, and most importantly, the motto that kept ringing in my head was, go west, young man. Why? Why do they want us to go west? So I decided that I was going to participate in June on the Range and just find out what, what is behind that. Why do they always insist that we go west? So the book that I chose not yet. <laughs> we'll get there. What I went ahead and did is I googled the top western books of all time. And boy, a lot of them came up. You have your top 20s, your top 10s. So what I decided to do was just narrow it down to four or five. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. Perhaps you will participate or perhaps Westerns are your thing and um, you just want to read them any time of the year. Westerns became popular in the mid-1800s. and By the 1990s, they seemed to be dissipating. They were becoming a thing of the past. And by the 90s, the 1990s, they were... They were gone. We were living off of reruns. There weren't many Western novels that were being printed as no publishers wanted to take a risk. All of the storylines seemed to have outlived themselves. They were old and tiresome. And how many novels can you write about the same types of storylines? So they definitely fell by the wayside. But luckily, today they are starting to resurface. The authors became more riskier in their storylines, resulting in a resurgence of Western novels. Okay, so now that we've established where we are in the Western novel world, let's get into those books. The first book I have chosen to discuss is Butcher's Crossing by John Williams. And this is one of the most underrated Western novels of all. But I am told that this is one of the books that you should read as soon as possible. Why? Well, let's find out. It is about a young man who decides he's going to ditch the Harvard lifestyle and head west. 
heeding the advice of Ralph Waldo Emerson, trying to, in this notion, find himself, find the meaning of life, find his purpose. Once he reaches a small town in Kansas, he joins up with a buffalo hunting expedition, and then they are encountering things such as wild raging rivers, snowfalls, extreme dehydration, and he is forced to make a life-changing decision. The next book I chose was True Grit by Charles Portis, and this is the story about a 14-year-old girl named Maddie Ross who heads to Fort Smith, Arkansas, because her father has been murdered and she is seeking revenge. She headed west to find a man who could fulfill her need for vengeance. And it is there she encounters this gentleman who possesses all the qualities to get this job done. Once propositioned, this gentleman agrees to carry out this deed, but becomes irate when he learns that Maddie has no intention of letting him carry this vengeance out alone. She fully intends to accompany him through every single step of this revenge-seeking thriller, and I am definitely going to put that book on my radar. Perhaps next June, this will be the book that I choose. The next book I chose is a 1946 novel written by Jack Schaefer called Shane, which is arguably the best Western novel ever written. It is the story about a young cowboy who comes to town looking to put his gunslinging days behind him. He's quiet about his past, and even though he doesn't talk much and he doesn't carry a gun, he's still being perceived as a dangerous man. Many of the town folk do not like him. They are very suspicious of him, and they don't make life easy for him. However, on the flip side of that, out of nowhere, he enters the life of Bob Starrett and his family. There is a piece of unclaimed land adjoining Bob's property, and before it was claimed by Bob's father, another cowboy by the name of Luke Fletcher was using it for his cattle drive. It is because of this that a gun singing battle ensues. And there it is. Now we have a true cowboy story waiting to unfold before our very eyes. I did not choose any of these as my June on the range pick. I went with the ever popular, here it is, it's reveal time. Larry McCurdy's Lonesome Dove. I am told that this book is a winner, tried and true. So many people have expressed their happiness and excitement in me reading this for the first time. I'm told this book embodies the true frontier, brotherhood, and the cowboy spirit through and through. It's a quite lengthy novel, so it's going to take me quite a while to get through. I have two more weeks left in June, and I'm hoping to get it read by the last day of June. Wish me luck so far. I am nine chapters in, and I'm not mad about it. I can honestly say I am enjoying this. There you have it. Whatever Western you choose to be reading, I hope that you too are thoroughly enjoying it. And if you are not reading a Western novel, perhaps you would like to join the ranks of us that are helping to resurrect the good old Western frontier. Until my next video, know that I love you. Be well, be good, be reading, and may all your book dreams come true.